again, this is just going to come down to concaves and infester work, but uh, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll just see exactly how this unfolds. Zingy is now supply blocked, even though he is caught up in supply. Uh, he's very angry at that statue and blows it down. Here comes the fight. Concave is going slightly to Zingy, and you can see these roaches are really clustering up here because he has lost the concave fight. Uh, they're clustering up here, and the fungal roaches do a lot more damage. One investor just tried to press up here, but he gets melted. But the uh, the army of Zingy is really pushing this back. He turns around, lands a couple of fungaros, which he, which he actually does not have energy for. That will really help out in fighting this off. These hydralists are off creep, so they're so slow. And they do not have very many hit points against these uh, non-biased roaches. They'll kill anything equally. Nice fungal growth on these broiled roaches uh, to keep them there and let these hydralists actually clean up the remainder of this army. And considering Zingy does not have tunneling claws, ooh, he actually ripped on a fungal growth there, but he gets another one down. All these roaches are in a red or orange. Uh, more roaches are reinforcing here. They really need to get in this fight to end this uh, roach push. And they do press up here, but uh, they both have speed roaches, so they're not going to be able to catch them. A couple of infested Terrans come up here in order to try to kill that Overseer. And he also Fungal Gross the Overseer. It's going to be really close. He does get the Overseer down. So he has the advantage of uh, detection right now. More Fungal Gross all over Baboom's army. He's just clumping up way too much, giving these Infestors uh, too good of an opportunity to land those Fungals and really de uh, decimate his army. Uh, again, more battles going on here, and I hope this is a, a good game for you Zerg players to watch to see how high-level Zerg vs. Zergs are played. Uh, even though it's uh, you know not the greatest matchup, considering it usually does boil down to these Roach Infester uh, fights. And there's actually a Spire coming up here for Zingy. Considering he's also timing that with his Hive, I have to imagine that will be for Broodlords here pretty quick. Which, if you get Broodlords out uh, in this uh, unit composition, it's basically game over for whoever gets it out first. And still have no answer for those Broodlords whatsoever. Unless they get their own Spire, and if they scout that in time. But scouting in this matchup is kind of hard. Uh, in terms of how many different places you can place your buildings down and in terms of how risky it is to fly an overseer in there and just lose it to some queens or, or spores or anything like that. It's, it's kind of hard to deal with. There is a uh, overseer here that's going to be detecting this army. A couple of infested Terrans are being barfed out to take care of that overseer. And if you saw this, he'd want to move it away as fast as he could. But he does just fungal to hold it in place anyway. And it blows up in a nice cloud of blood. Uh, the gold is still operational here for Baboom, and both of them are maxed right now. Uh, it's just going to, again, come down to this Infestor work. I'm glad that uh, neither of the battles have really decided the game thus far, because losing a game just to, you know, repeated fungal growth can be really annoying as any race. There's actually two Spires coming up here. So the first one just finished, which is right here, and the second one is also coming up. So it looks like he's going to go double Spire for upgrades to get those out as soon as possible. There's a whole bunch of spine crawlers morphing, and I can't really figure out where they're morphing. But uh, it looks like Baboom is really gearing up for the late game here, taking his sixth base, his final one on the map. And Zingy is taking his fifth, and I'd imagine will be taking his gold as soon as he feels ready to. Ventral sacks are now finishing up, so it looks like he is preparing for some drops uh, on his Overlord, since Overlord speed was done quite a while ago. Up comes this huge army from Baboom. But uh, the supplies are equal, so we'll have to just see who comes out on top here. There were some Corruptors just now finishing, which I can't tell where they are. And yes, this is going to be a greater Spire, as we can see it just starting. There's also a Spire coming up here for Zingy, so if, or rather for Baboom. So if he just goes for just straight Corruptors, or Mutalisks for that matter, he will waste this Broodlord army. So uh, we'll see exactly what happens. Huge Fungal Gross go off right here. You can see all the roaches were clumped together. If you keep your roaches spread out, and if you get a concave advantage like this, it really helps you out in the fight. The Hydralisks are now the only things really standing on this side of the battle. But it's okay because he's going to really clean up these infestors quite well. More fungal growth going off, but decent splitting of his units, so he doesn't get them all fungal growth at the same time. A whole bunch of infested uh, Terrans are coming out here, and uh, they're going to really repel this attack. So again, you can see the power of infestors. Uh, they basically have an answer for pretty much whatever is going to come up. 30, 44 roaches are now in production for Baboom. As you can see, I'm banking a ton of resources. So if, if you're Baboom at this point, you really just need to push as hard as you can and as frequently as you can since you can reinforce with just roaches endlessly streaming out of your base. He's already remaxed, as is Zingy. As you can see, both these players' economies are really coming to play here. A whole bunch of infested Terrans all die at the same time. Uh, a bunch of roaches get caught in position here for Zingy, and those all die. But they may actually be, have been supply dumps, as you can see him starting Corruptors. Uh, but he is also mixing in a few uh, infestors here. Up comes the army of both of them again. One of them has infestors and one doesn't, so he's going to lose this pretty badly. But again, huge hunger roast all over these units. 
Infested Terrans go all over the army. These Infestors are all super low on energy, so if you keep up this kind of aggression from Baboom and just keep their Infestors low enough, you may just push them so hard that he can't hold it off anymore. And again, this uh, army of Baboom is winning this fight quite convincingly, and this may actually end the game because of how far ahead he is right now. You just, uh, Zingy really needs to just buy time on these Infestors so he can get them ready. And you can see what a huge expense is for these uh, Broodlords. They're, they're not ready, obviously. You can see one morphing right now. But uh, having to sacrifice that much just to get these Broodlords out is a big, big deal. Um, up come more Roaches. They're going to lose this fight if they decide to stick in here. They just burrow instead. And uh, Zingy does not have any detection right here. You can uh, occasionally see little tiny trails of where they're actually burrowing if you're the enemy units. Uh, so that you can just land um, land uh, Fungagross on top of them anyway. Here comes uh, Baboom's pushing in here pretty hard trying to deny expansions. Seeing what he can do in terms of cleaning up the rest of this army. There's one Brutal out doing as much as he possibly can to kill these Roaches, but these, these Broodlings just do not do a ton of damage against these Roaches. There's a ton more Broodlords uh, spawning right now, and there's a bunch of Corruptors coming out in response here from Baboom, so you kind of have to think he's got this game won. Despite all that Infestor work that was really nice earlier, Baboom is just marching his way into the opponent's player's base and focusing down these hatcheries really fast, so he has absolutely no reinforcement whatsoever. Uh, and there's really nothing that's going to be able to stop this army, especially once the Corruptors rally here for Baboom. There's a ton of Broodlords in the air, but again, this is just going to buy time. There's a bunch of uh, Infestors here that are going to get caught out position by these Broodlords, and down they go. But nevertheless, it's still probably just too late to end this end this game here. Uh, Baboom is just so far ahead right now. He's on five or six hatcheries, rather, whereas Singy's on one. And as soon as these Corruptors do get out here and fight off these Broodlords, um, it should be fine. The only thing they may have to worry about is these infested Terrans uh, puking up, uh, or rather, these infestors puking up infested Terrans to deal with this, to deal with the corruptors that are going to be coming out. But uh, we'll see exactly what this breaks down to. 21 corruptors are in production for Zingy, so he really realizes that he needs to get this uh, this Broodlord threat out of the air. I don't know if he's planning on making a greater spire of his own. But that would be really wise right now, considering there are virtually no Corruptors in the air for Zingy. Here come the Corruptors for Baboom. They're going to try to pick off as many as the, as many Corruptors as they can so that they'll have free reign over the battle. But these Infestors are, again, are going to play, play a huge role in this fight. Uh, the Corruptors sense that, and they're going to go ahead and fall back just a tiny, tiny bit. They need to not get too aggressive here, because Fungagross and Infested Terrans will really wreck this up. Here go the Fungagross, and that's a huge flock of Corruptors, and they're all going to get caught. So this is going to be devastating for Baboom, uh, but these in these Infestors are not being terribly aggressive about cleaning these up. Uh, the Corruptors are now on top of the Broodlords, so the Corruptors are really going to wreck up these Broodlords pretty badly. Uh, down they all go, and Baboom is just getting further and further ahead while these Infestors just sit around and chum it up with their buddies, not doing anything in this fight whatsoever. Singy is really dead in the water right now. There's almost no mining. His distance mining is natural. These Roaches are back in here wrecking stuff up. He's down to one hatchery. And that hatchery is going to fall any second here. All the Corruptors are rallying together, flying in circles, celebrating their victory. Uh, Greater Spire is coming up here for Baboom, but it really doesn't matter at this point. The Spore Crawler may actually bleed out from just being rooted in the ground without having any nourishment from the creep any longer. And look at these Corruptors just absolutely come in here and wreck all of the Overlords. Uh, this game is essentially over. I don't know what, uh, what Zingy is waiting for at this point considering he has really no income, no reinforcement potential, no units other than these Infestors. Uh, Fungagross do go off on these Corruptors, but they're not going to be enough to actually kill them. Um, he will actually kill a few of them, but I don't think he has the energy to keep putting these down. Zingy finally does call good game, uh, and that's it. He's going to go ahead and quit out. So, interesting Zerg versus Zerg there. You can see the progressions that go through in a typical Zerg versus Zerg, but I really hope that as the time goes on in this matchup that the the metagame will start to shift. Uh, we've seen it in Protoss versus Protoss and it did take a patch in order to make that happen with the Archons. You see a lot more Archons in play uh, and, and also due to the Forgate nerf or as the Warpgate nerf making Forgates a little less effective. So you almost have to wonder if something like uh, a nerf to the Zerg will benefit its uh, mirror matchup just the way that Protoss versus Protoss has been changed, and Terran versus Terran hasn't really changed in terms of patching, 
but a lot of new strategies and different player styles have come down in Terran versus Terran, making that a much more dynamic matchup. Zerg versus Zerg at the moment is the most rigid mirror matchup in the game. So I really hope that either a patch comes to alleviate that or players just start to change the way they play and it starts working on a high enough level to justify that change. Just because watching these Roach and Fester armies clash back and forth, I mean, it can be fun to watch, but in terms of actually playing it, it's not nearly as entertaining as the other uh, mirror matchups can be. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that game. Nonetheless, it's good to see Zerg vs. Zerg battles fought out so you newer players can see exactly what's going on. And we've been keeping a little bit of an eye on the APM tab. Zingy actually averaged out to 166, even though he just sat there at the end of the game. So, very furious game here. Very furious matchup in this Zerg vs. Zerg. But, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll be back for more cast. See you guys next time. Uh, see you later.